Yes, I think my mother was a very holy uh, woman, and so she imparted that love for God and love for the neighbor very much into all her children's hearts. Mother Teresa, known for her selfless dedication to helping the poor and sick, lived a life of compassion and service. However, her final years were filled with profound challenges as she battled poor health and physical suffering. During this time, she shared something truly astonishing with her fellow sisters. What she revealed is nothing short of remarkable, and it's something that will leave you stunned. Join me as we uncover the profound revelation that Mother Teresa made before she passed away. This is a story you won't want to miss. A life dedicated to the poor. Mother Teresa's journey from a young girl in Skopje, Ottoman Empire, now North Macedonia, to the Nobel Peace Prize winning founder of the Missionaries of Charity is a story of dedication, compassion, and inner turmoil. Born Anjeze Gonshe Boyakshu on August 26, 1910, she was baptized the following day, considering it her true birthday. The youngest of three children, her father's involvement in Albanian community politics shaped her early years until his untimely death when she was just eight years old. It was during her formative years that Anjezi became captivated by the stories of missionaries and their work in Bengal. By the age of 12, she felt a calling to commit herself to religious life. Her conviction only deepened as she visited the shrine of the Black Madonna of Vitina Letnice on August 15, 1928, a day that would mark a significant turning point in her life. Leaving behind her family, Anjezi embarked on a journey to Ireland at the age of 18 to join the Sisters of Loreto at Loreto Abbey in Rathfarnham. Her goal was to learn English in preparation for missionary work in India, where the Sisters of Loreto conducted their teachings in English. This decision meant she would never see her mother or sister again, a sacrifice that foreshadowed the profound sacrifices she would make throughout her life. It was in India that Anjezi truly found her calling and became known as Mother Teresa. She founded the Missionaries of Charity, a religious congregation that would grow to encompass over 4,500 nuns across 133 countries. The congregation's work ranged from managing homes for those suffering from HIV, AIDS, leprosy and tuberculosis to running soup kitchens, dispensaries, mobile clinics and orphanages. Their dedication to serving the poorest of the poor was marked by vows of chastity, poverty and obedience as well as a fourth vow to provide wholehearted free service to the poorest of the poor. Despite her unwavering commitment to serving others, Mother Teresa was not immune to moments of doubt and fear. Her numerous accolades, including the Ramon Magsaysay Peace Prize in 1962 and the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979, did not shield her from an inner struggle that remained hidden from the world for many years. During the presentation of the Nobel Peace Prize, she declined the customary banquet for laureates and instead requested that its $192,000 cost be given to the poor in India. Her focus remained steadfast on alleviating the suffering of those in need. When asked how to promote world peace upon receiving the Nobel Peace Prize, Mother Teresa's response was simple yet profound. Go home and love your family. This sentiment encapsulated her belief in the power of love and compassion as the foundation for a peaceful world. However, behind the public image of unwavering devotion lay a secret that Mother Teresa guarded closely. Despite her outward appearance of strength and resolve, she grappled with an intense fear that threatened to tarnish the mission of her order. This fear also made her keep her inner battles indeed for years until now that it has been unveiled. But what was it about Mother Teresa's fear that made her keep her inner battles hidden in silence? To uncover the truth behind Mother Teresa's hidden fears, it's important to delve deeper into her remarkable journey and uncover the struggles she faced behind closed doors. Mother Teresa's Inner Battles In 2007, the world was rocked by the release of a book titled Come Be My Light, which brought to light the inner struggles of Mother Teresa. The publication of her personal letters revealed a side of her that few had ever seen or imagined. It was a revelation that left many perplexed and deeply moved. The book detailed Mother Teresa's profound sense of God's absence for the last 50 years of her life, a revelation that sent shockwaves through the Christian community and beyond. 
Mother Teresa's battle with depression was a deeply personal one. Despite her inner turmoil, she remained remarkably active, driven by her unwavering sense of calling from God. It's important to note that periods of darkness and doubt are not necessarily indicative of a loss of faith. In fact, they are often seen as powerful moments of spiritual growth. Throughout history, many Christian saints have shared their experiences of darkness and their complex relationship with God. One such figure was St. John of the Cross, a 16th century mystic whom Mother Teresa was familiar with. His writings echoed her own longing for God, but also her profound feeling of being unwanted by him. According to John of the Cross, the dark night of the soul is a period of feeling abandoned by God, characterized by immense pain and agony as if burdened with darkness. However, this feeling of rejection is viewed as a purging process that ultimately prepares the soul for a deeper connection with God. The duration of a dark night of the soul varies, and while doubts may arise, it doesn't necessarily mean that the sufferer has stopped believing in God. In her letters, Mother Teresa expressed the excruciating pain of feeling rejected by God and the overwhelming absence of his existence. However, she was not alone in her experience. Even Saint Therese of Lisieux had also grappled with a similar sense of abandonment. Mother Teresa's suffering during God's absence was profound and deeply felt, as evidenced by her private correspondence. She longed for God, yet the darkness seemed to only intensify, leading to a profound contradiction within her soul. Seeking solace, she felt as though God had forsaken her, leaving her feeling utterly alone in the darkness. Despite this inner turmoil, she devoted herself to her work because she believed it was what Christ demanded of her. When she tended to the poor and the sick, she saw it as ministering to Christ in his distressing disguise, the Christ who thirsted. It was in sharing in the suffering of the people she served that Mother Teresa perhaps inevitably perceived her own inner poverty as a participation in the suffering of Christ himself. But to truly understand the significance of Mother Teresa's inner battles, we need to delve deeper into her journey and the profound impact it had on her faith and her life's work. A Glimpse into Mother Teresa's Soul Let's take a step back in time to 1962, a year that marked a turning point in the life of a remarkable woman. Mother Teresa, then known as Teresa, was in the midst of her second decade of feeling abandoned. It was during this time that she penned something truly profound, something that foreshadowed her later understanding of her calling to share in the suffering of Christ's passion. In her writings, she expressed, If I ever become a saint, I will surely be one of darkness. I will continually be absent from heaven to light the way for those in darkness on earth. These words reveal a depth of compassion and selflessness that is truly awe-inspiring. They suggest that Mother Teresa was willing to forego the joy of heaven for the sake of those of us who also lie awake at night pondering where God has gone. But what drove her to make such a profound statement? What made her so strong in those desperate times? The answer lies in her unwavering faith and devotion to God, a devotion that Archbishop Giovanni Battista emphasized in a homily delivered on the second anniversary of Mother Teresa's passing. He spoke of the central role of prayer in her remarkable life, highlighting her love for Christ as the key to her dedication to serving the poorest of the poor, both in Kolkata and across the globe. The roots of Mother Teresa's unwavering faith can be traced back to her early years. Her mother, Drana, imparted words of wisdom to Agnes Goncha Boyakshu, who would later be known worldwide as Mother Teresa of Kolkata. Hold tight to God's hand and never let go of it on your journey, her mother advised shortly after Agnes's decision to embrace religious vows. These words foreshadowed Mother Teresa's journey as she embraced God's hand joyfully and resolutely, facing extraordinary challenges with unwavering faith. One such challenge came in 1946 when, at the age of 36, she made a life-changing decision. Driven by a powerful inner calling, she left the affluent areas of Kolkata behind and dedicated herself wholeheartedly to the part of the city that Jawaharlal Nehru had famously called a nightmare city. This was a place of immense suffering and neglect, teeming with impoverished and starving people, lepers, children, and the dying who had been abandoned in the gutters. It was in this harrowing environment that Mother Teresa's true calling became clear. 
Four years later, she founded the Missionaries of Charity. But even before that, she had already become known as Mother Teresa of Kolkata. Her decision to venture into the nightmare city reflected the consistent and courageous choice of a woman who, after placing God at the center of her life, looked upon all human beings with eyes of loving compassion and mercy. It was the choice of a woman who wholeheartedly obeyed God's will and loved every human being as God loves them. This was Mother Teresa's secret. God always held the highest priority in her life. Her selfless dedication to serving the poorest of the poor was not just a phase or a preparatory stage. It was her true calling. She saw herself as a beacon of light in the darkness, foregoing the joy of heaven to light the way for those in darkness on earth. The shocking revelation, Mother Teresa fears unveiled. The news of Mother Teresa's prolonged spiritual wilderness left many Christians perplexed. Even Teresa's closest companions and the missionaries of charity were bewildered. She had never explicitly mentioned her darkness, except for a vague illusion that would have been incomprehensible to anyone but her confessors, to whom she continued her inner turmoil. Mother Teresa grappled with the fear that led her to keep her inner struggles hidden, even as she faced a profound crisis of faith in her final years. Mother Teresa's fear was rooted in the concern that if she revealed her own struggles and doubts, it would undermine the faith of those who looked up to her as a symbol of unwavering devotion and selflessness. She feared that her own humanity and vulnerability would cast doubt on the very mission she had dedicated her life to. This fear weighed heavily on her, causing her to bear the burden of her inner turmoil in silence. As she faced this internal struggle, Mother Teresa found herself grappling with a crisis of faith that shook her to the core. Despite her unwavering dedication to serving the poorest of the poor, she found herself questioning the very foundation of her beliefs. This crisis of faith was a deeply personal struggle that she carried with her, even as she continued to carry out her work with outward determination and compassion. It was a battle that she fought in solitude, keeping her doubts and fears hidden from those around her. In her final years, as Mother Teresa's health began to decline, she grappled with the weight of this secret fear and crisis of faith. It was during this time that she made a revelation to her fellow sisters, confiding in them about the struggles she had kept hidden for so long. She shared with them the depth of her fear and the doubts that had plagued her, opening up about the inner turmoil that had remained concealed behind her public persona. Four years before her death, she cautioned her fellow sisters about the continuous presence of the devil, who attempts to make them feel that Jesus doesn't truly love or cling to them. Little did they know that this warning was autobiographical. This revelation was a poignant moment of vulnerability for Mother Teresa, as she allowed herself to be seen not only as a symbol of unwavering strength, but as a human being with her own struggles and doubts. The Power of Prayer in the final days before her passing, Mother Teresa revealed the profound impact of prayer in her life and work. Her unwavering devotion to the poorest of the poor was fueled by her unyielding love for Christ, and she emphasized the significance of prayer as the cornerstone of her existence. Amidst the turmoil of her inner battles, prayer remained a constant source of strength for Mother Teresa. It was through prayer that she found the courage and determination to continue her mission of caring for the marginalized and destitute. She firmly believed that prayer was the most effective way to renew society and bring about positive change in the world. One particular incident stands out as a testament to the power of prayer in Mother Teresa's life. On a humble day, she encountered a poor man and brought him into their dwelling, where she washed him and restored his dignity. When the man asked her why she was doing this, Mother Teresa simply replied, for love of God. This simple yet profound response encapsulated her unwavering love for God and her belief that every act of kindness and compassion was an expression of her devotion to Him. Mother Teresa's love for God was the driving force behind her tireless efforts to care for the poor. She saw each individual through God's eyes and loved them with God's heart. Her love for God had a simple yet profound foundation, prayer. Throughout her day, prayer was always her top priority. As she herself said, my secret is very, very simple, I pray. This unwavering commitment to prayer was evident to those who had the privilege of knowing her personally and spending time with her. 
They were astonished and deeply moved by the intensity of her prayer life. Mother Teresa often spoke about the transformative power of prayer and its profound impact on faith, love, and dedication to serving others. She taught her spiritual daughters, the fruit of prayer is faith, the fruit of faith is love, and the fruit of love is dedication to the poor. This simple yet powerful message underscored the central role of prayer in her life and work. To those who sought her guidance and wisdom, Mother Teresa emphasized the importance of prayer as a means of entrusting oneself to God and making oneself available to Him. She believed that through prayer, one could hear His voice in the depth of one's heart. This deeply personal connection with God through prayer was the wellspring from which Mother Teresa drew her strength and compassion. In a world marked by division, injustice, and suffering, Mother Teresa's message of love and compassion resonates with timeless relevance. She embodied the words of St. Paul, who wrote, If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels but have no love, I gain nothing. Her life, despite her struggles and fears, was a testament to the immeasurable value of love expressed through generosity, courage, and tireless work on behalf of the marginalized and forgotten. The Critics' Uproar As the world absorbed the shocking revelations made by Mother Teresa before her passing, a storm of criticism erupted from her detractors. They wasted no time in seizing upon the revelations to discredit her legacy, painting her as a fake saint. These critics accused her of hypocrisy, alleging that she showcased her devotion while battling inner turmoil. One of the most prominent voices in this uproar was Christopher Hitchens, a well-known critic and author. Hitchens went as far as characterizing Mother Teresa as a confused old lady who had lost her faith. He claimed that her service to others was merely a way to quell her own misery. This scathing portrayal of Mother Teresa's inner struggles and motivations sparked widespread debate and controversy, with some questioning the authenticity of her lifelong dedication to serving the poorest of the poor. Hitchens was not alone in his critique of Mother Teresa. Other critics also emerged, pointing to various aspects of her work and life to support their claims. Some highlighted the conditions in the facilities run by the Missionaries of Charity, the religious congregation founded by Mother Teresa, as evidence of her lack of genuine compassion. They argued that the quality of care provided to the sick and dying in these facilities was not up to standard, and that the focus on providing spiritual comfort overshadowed the need for proper medical treatment. Furthermore, some critics raised questions about the sources of funding for Mother Teresa's charitable activities. They alleged that she accepted donations from questionable sources and failed to provide transparency about how these funds were used. This led to suspicions about the true motives behind her work and raised doubts about her integrity. The critics' uproar brought into question the very essence of Mother Teresa's legacy, challenging the public's perception of her as a selfless and unwavering beacon of compassion. It forced people to confront the uncomfortable possibility that someone they had held in such high regard might not have been as saintly as they had believed. The controversy surrounding Mother Teresa's legacy also shed light on the complexities of human nature and the challenges of reconciling personal struggles with outward actions. It served as a sobering reminder that even the most revered figures in history are not immune to scrutiny and skepticism. The public was forced to grapple with the unsettling reality that even those we hold in the highest esteem are not immune to the trials and tribulations that define our shared humanity. In the aftermath of Mother Teresa's revelations, the world found itself embroiled in a profound reckoning. People were forced to reevaluate their perceptions of Mother Teresa and consider the possibility that she, like all humans, was a complex and multifaceted individual. The debate sparked by the critics' uproar prompted a deeper examination of what it means to be truly compassionate and selfless and how these virtues can be reconciled with personal struggles and imperfections. An enduring legacy of love. Mother Teresa's legacy is one that continues to inspire and uplift countless individuals around the world. Her unwavering dedication to serving humanity and her boundless love for all people have left an indelible mark on history. As we reflect on her remarkable life, we are reminded of the profound truth that there is indeed more joy in giving than in receiving. Mother Teresa fearlessly entered the suffering neighborhoods of the city 
bringing with her not only aid and support, but also a transformative spirit that turned despair into hope and darkness into light. She believed with every fiber of her being that love is the greatest gift one can give, and her actions spoke volumes to this belief. Mother Teresa's understanding of the gospel was deeply rooted in love. She saw the gospel as a message of love, and she lived her life in a way that exemplified this belief. Those who had the privilege of encountering her could not help but be touched by the overwhelming sense of love and compassion that radiated from her. Her legacy will forever be remembered as a symbol of her deep love for God and her unwavering concern for the worth of every individual and every human life. It serves as a timeless reminder of the power of love to bring about positive change in the world. The impact of Mother Teresa's remarkable life calls upon us to emulate her deep love for God and her genuine concern for the worth of every individual. Her legacy stands as a beacon of hope, inspiring us to make a difference in the lives of those around us and to embrace love as the greatest gift we can offer. Her example challenges us to look beyond ourselves and to extend a helping hand to those in need, just as she did throughout her life. Mother Teresa's enduring legacy is not just a historical footnote, but a living testament to the enduring power of love. Her legacy continues to shine brightly in the world, inspiring individuals to acts of kindness and compassion. Her selfless service and unwavering dedication serve as a guiding light for all those who seek to make a positive impact on the world. The courage that inspired Mother Teresa's daughters and sons to dedicate themselves to serving the poor and bringing the tenderness of God's love to those defeated by life can serve as a guiding light for all of humanity. It is a call for each of us to illuminate our own journey through life with love and compassion and to extend that same light to others along the way. Thanks for watching, fam. For more thrilling revelations, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen.